Hey y'all, welcome to the channel. Today we're checking out UK versus USA. I have a feeling this is gonna be a bunch of memes, I'm not exactly sure, but this first image makes me laugh. Almost five million American tourists visit London every year. The rest of UK hates London, really? London really is the most congested city in the world. Wait, what did that say? UK capital voted the second least friendly city in the world. Alcohol is far too expensive. Maybe that's why. 2.2 million Londoners officially live in poverty. What? That can't be right. London is the fourth most expensive city in the world. Okay. What Brits think New York is like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what Americans think New York is like. Pizza Rat. Remember Pizza Rat? Y'all. <laughs> I used to live in New York City, and the rat thing is real. I wouldn't be surprised to see a rat running around with a piece of pizza. If you're near a convenience store right now, put your hand in <laughs> This guy's like in the subway, the train floor. If you're near a convenience store right now, put your hand in the cash register for no- This guy's eat, licking a boot. Their money is your money. <laughs> right now. British people hearing New Yorkers happily, proudly call their city a concrete jungle. Oh, I guess it has nothing on. Glasgow. <laughs> All right. <laughs> How Americans describe their Scottish roots. Yep. Very proud. Yes, yes, their actual Scottish roots. Wait, wait. <laughs> Your stick's not even touching the ground, man. <laughs> Is it not? I have to watch that carefully. It's not. <laughs> Your stick's not even touching the ground, man. <laughs> Your bud. That's not a bank machine. Pardon? It's not a bank machine, it's a fence. Fire. Are we fire? Are we fi <laughs> <laughs> There's bagpipe music playing. <laughs> Why is that funny? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. The bagpipe music. <laughs> I'm crying. Okay. Punk <laughs> machine. It's a fence. Fire. Are we fire? <laughs> I think bagpipe music is making me laugh. The bagpipe music. <laughs> the bagpipe music is making me laugh because. Sorry, it sounds so prestigious. <laughs> it sounds like it sounds like a funeral, like what they would play at a funeral. But then there's these <laughs> like drunk and like trashy kind of <clears throat> things happening. <laughs> it's a fence. Fire. <laughs> Are we fire? Wait. Okay. I'm sorry, I can't compose myself. <laughs> I can't even see. My vision blurred from the tears. I can't read. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. They're actual Scottish roots. That time I woke up in Amsterdam. How'd that happen? I think I'm in Edinburgh. <laughs> Whoa. Wait, what did that say? British people explaining. Okay. Yo, all that bagpipe music. <laughs> Why is that so funny? British people <laughs> explaining how Americans are stupid and we don't need their dumb inventions for nothing. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh. Baked beans invented in the 1860s in <laughs> Pennsylvania. Really? Heinz are an American brand. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, I know that because uh, John Kerry ran for a president and his wife was uh, heir to the Heinz fortune. That's the only way I know that. Anyway, okay. 
<laughs> Americans explaining how Brits are irrelevant and we don't need their dumb inventions for the. Oh, okay. America. America was the first settled via the colonial territories of the English Empire. Yep. Oh, oh, wait. Okay, sorry. Still the bad pipe music. <laughs> the bagpipe music. All right. All right. Okay. Yeah, this made me think of something. So a few days ago, I reacted to, uh, or I filmed a reaction video to uh, why Florida did not join the ind the American War for Independence. I guess I learned that in school, but I'm an eighth generation Floridian. I live in California now, but my family's been in Florida for at least eight generations. And I know it's because they were in the Carolinas and King George III told them to go to Florida to colonize it, colonize it. But then what I didn't realize is that my family were British loyalists. They didn't want to join the, <laughs> the Revolutionary War or the Battle for Independence. They're like, no, leave us out of it. They're British loyalists. And I think that's funny. What would they think of me as an American now having a YouTube channel reacting to British culture? Uh, I wonder if they would be proud. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. They'd probably be really confused about what YouTube is. Okay. Is that new? Americans have no culture. Explain this. <laughs> is, what is this man? Ninja Turtle, yo. I'm half Barney, half Ninja Turtle. I karate you. You karate me. <laughs> no. I want to party with that guy. I bet he's a good chef. I karate you, you karate me. <laughs> now then, boys, I think I've had too many f***ing Stellas. I'm making a Rice crispy and tea bag sandwich. Have a good day, lads. <laughs> I am the f***ing man. If there's anything... <laughs> If there's anything us Brits know how to do, it's getting drunk. We literally rank in the top few countries for our amount of yeah. binge drinking. Oh. I like living in Britain because my- I just spit a little bit. Look at this guy pound the beers. Portion of adults who report binge drinking. I don't see the United States on that, but I bet we're probably up there. I like living in Britain because my, my obvious alcohol problem um, it isn't a problem here. <laughs> you commonly catch British pint sinkers making fun of Americans for not even being able to pour a fucking pint of lager. There are literally whole <laughs> sides of the internet dedicated to American beer related fails. Oh, and for the most what is that Guinness with water? Look at that. That was done inappropriately on purpose. It had to have been. <laughs> And for the most part, British people think of Americans as massive lightweights, pussies when it comes to the beverages. That might be correct for the most part, but I do think we're making one big massive miscalculation by forgetting about the deep south. Mm. Those are where my roots are from, y'all. We make our own alcohol down there. It's called moonshine. Hooch. And it's delicious. Tastes like nail polish remover. Anyway, I'm from down here on the panhandle of Florida, right down there. That's where my roots are from. Before that, my family was in the Carolinas. And before that, England. And before that, Normandy. And before that, Africa. And before that, Mars. And before that, the Pleiades. And before that, the center of the universe. What am I saying? I don't know. I do think we're making one big massive miscalculation by forgetting about the deep south. Now, for those of you who whipped out my hillbilly fortitude, let me show you here what we're working with. That there's good old corn liquor right there. Here's what we're gonna do with it. Cheers. He doesn't? Oh. That there's a hillbilly shot! I tell you, that Red Bull give you wings. <laughs> Or that moonshine give you four wheel drive. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I know people like this man. He's he's leaning into a stereotype, but there are people like that. I know, I know those guys. They're pretty friendly when they're not spouting racist, bigoted, hateful things and not supporting Trump. Anyway, I also understood everything he said. I really did. Give you wings. Or that moonshine give you four wheel drive. That's right. <laughs> Snake bite into moonshine. This is proof. Snake want bite into moonshine. Bite me! Bite me! Oh, he won't. He just damn snake won't bite me. You know why? Because I got the best moonshine around. <laughs> the man with the 
I I know that man. I I his name is Bill. The man with the shark bite on his arm, and he's gonna chug this whole goddamn thing of 100 proof moonshine. Now, liquids aside. Wait, I think he did drink it. Oh, that's like a whole jar of moonshine would send you to the hospital. I think that's like grain alcohol almost. I had some really good peach moonshine one time. It was very good. Oh, and cinnamon. Oh, cinnamon moonshine. It's very good. Good for Christmas. Now, liquids aside, probably the main thing that Americans like to yap about online is how on that fateful day in 1776, they carved two paths into the future for our two nations, one having God tier cuisine and the other having <laughs> disgusting slop. Which cucumbers? A... Where... Do people really put cucumbers on their beans and toast? I've never seen that before. It might be good. A little a little freshness. Something to break up the the fat of the bean. Which I think is a bit rich coming from a nation who also exports this kind of content <laughs> online. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell, man. <laughs> Come on now, noodles and bacon? Noodles and bacon? Hey, they told me don't put the bacon in the noodles. I said fuck them. Fuck them. <laughs> I told them fuck them. Come on now, this a whole fucking setup, man. Hey, y'all go I'm gonna drop this egg. <laughs> Right down in there. It's only going to take about 20 seconds. We're that looks this good. Egg up out of here. Yeah. Here in this season flour. After <gasps> you got a good coating of flour all over it, take your spatula, just set it back down in the grease. No. Chicken fried egg. What? Bacon, egg, and cheese? Wait. I've never seen a chicken fried egg before. That looks good. I, that, I would eat that. Wow. Wow. So you cook the egg, and then you... Wow. Wow. I know this is supposed to be a joke or it's funny, but this could be delicious. Like if you had that sandwich. Chicken fried egg. Bacon, egg, and cheese with grava on a roll. Grava? Yeah. Grava. Yeah. Wait, Americans trying not to put addictive substances in their food. Impossible challenge. The best New York sandwich. What is he talking about? Grava? Bacon, egg, and cheese with grava on a roll. Oh. Yeah. Tobacco Grava. leaf. Yeah. Grava. Yeah. Bacon egg and cheese with the grabber. Yes, bro. Yeah, tobacco grabber. Yes, bro. He's like, are you sure? But overall, you're gonna eat tobacco? Mm -hmm. Yeah, fair enough. They can have this one. I mean, taking a look at British food Instagram is about as traumatizing and PTSD inducing as serving a couple tours in oil land. I have filmed several videos about British food and I've only put maybe one or two of them out because it usually elicits a bad reaction. Jellied eel is something I just do not why because the thames was just had so many eels in it this was this made sense in the middle ages when people were scrounging for food but we don't have that problem anymore you don't got to eat the eels anymore you don't need to eat that don't eat that you don't need it okay now this one this can't be real this had to have been made as a joke is that spaghettios with vienna sausages <laughs> that can't be real y'all do not eat that i know you don't that maybe that looks real. That looks real. And like feces. Traumatizing and PTSD inducing as serving a couple tours in oil land. Now then, boys, look at that for the belter. Custard cream sandwich, real fighting scram. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in the oven for about 20 minutes. What? No. What the f is that? How's the spaghetti going to get cooked? You don't eat that. I'm going to put them in the oven for about... 20 minutes. One of the first things I always hear from <laughs> British people who visited America, usually coming right after the It's fucking massive, mate, is the fucking <laughs> police over there are mental. <laughs> Show yourself! That's funny. UK police failed to. A bit more, a bit more power, a bit more, yes. <laughs> more power, more power, more power. That's it. Tennessee cops when you ask for CCTV footage of the station's locker. 
Liverpool co- cops when you ask for CC2 of, of a local abandoned house. Hmm. Secrets of a club revealed with police, lawyers, and judges joining as members. Oh. Mm-hmm. Some of the American laws are so dumb. You can literally get prison time for crossing the road wrong. For example, no, you can't. You would get a fine if they caught you. Y'all, I jaywalk all the time. And I've never been fined or. It's not like that. So dumb. You can literally get prison time for crossing the road wrong. For example, in New York, jaywalking isn't illegal unless you do it diagonally. (laughs) What? (laughs) In Texas, you can get prison time for being intoxicated in public. So if you're walking home and you've had a couple drinks, sir, get your hands behind your back, get your goddamn ass right on the goddamn floor right now, boy. Apparently, you don't (laughs) even. He's right. It's illegal to be drunk. In public. But you wouldn't get prison time, I don't think, unless you caused a bunch of trouble. You would just get a fine, probably a warning, or get shot. Sir, get your hands behind your back. Get your goddamn ass right on the goddamn floor right now, boy. He said boy at the end. That's very accurate. Get your goddamn ass right on the goddamn floor right now, boy. Apparently, you don't even need to actually be intoxicated. You literally can't have... But in Texas, bruh. Right uh, on the goddamn floor right now, boy. Apparently, you don't even need to actually be intoxicated. You just need to seem intoxicated. Whoa, and you could be taken into whoa. police custody, bruh. There are a bunch of these just stupid laws that yeah. make no sense. And therefore, if there's a cop that just has a grudge or really doesn't like you for some reason, they can seriously punish you. I actually saw you spit on the ground back there, sir. Yeah, buddy, I saw you sitting on the sidewalk. Obviously, we do have this same problem in the US. UK. And despite the American perception, we do actually have some scary looking police in the UK as well, believe it or Those not. Masks. I gotta say, British police constables and American sheriffs, they gotta be in some kind of competition over who can look the silliest, bro. <laughs> despite the extremely goofy looking police and the posh stereotype. No, this cannot be forgiven. Now empty the compartments of your pantaloons. For what purpose? <laughs> and discard of your foot For what well. purpose? In fact, I am equipped to summon the one casually known as Little Travis on your you might be surprised to know in the UK we actually have some pretty scary geezers. See this guy? I'm telling you, one of the most dangerous dudes on the planet. If you f around with him, you're dead. Would you like a sweetie? A, what? a sweetie? A absolutely stupendous confectionery. That's him? Oh, y- yeah, not too intimidating. Like, this guy, though, I-, I swear he makes light work of America's scariest, heaviest, most elite boxers. He'd literally kill. There you go. <laughs> like a fighter's body. Clearly not. Yeah, it's not that bone chilling, is it? I mean, these guys are fucking menaces. Surely they'll come across as terrifying mo- We were taking those pills, the laxative pills. You know, the ones you take, you pop, and you wait for 20 minutes to go to the toilet, and they go through you. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go through this man. (sighs) Ah, fucking whatever, man. Leave it. Let's switch the subject real quick. (laughs) Okay. Brits and Americans enjoying their beautiful democracy. You get to vote between two old dudes who will both significantly F up the world. That's accurate. China, are you a competitor? Dumbass British people assuming their country is a leading uh, Are you an ally? Are you a threat? How would you regard your relationship with Britain? Britain is not a rival, it's not a competitor, it is not an enemy, it's not an adversary. But I think it would be completely misguided for Britain to view China as an enemy or adversary or a competitor. What do China and Britain compete with? Is Britain a competitor? No. So I think British government should not overestimate its impact on the global scene and view Britain as a rival of China. China is not. Burn. Dang. Look at this photo. Yeah, there's a scary amount of Brits who for some reason believe we're like some actually relevant, important world power. Despite us having less than 1% of the world's population. An increasingly undiversified economy, a dangerously unstable currency, some of the West's worst corruption. Really? And like 2% of the world's wealth. (laughs) Brits literally choosing to leave the only trading block they were part of that warranted slight world rel- relevance what clowning oh brexit okay <laughs> got it 
Bro, I mean, literally over half of this country's population was convinced that they're so important, so economically powerful, and so essential to other countries that we could just leave the closest financial union we have oh. and everyone's lives would miraculously be better. Realistically, Brexit is like if Illinois and Michigan left the states. Yeah, sure, it'd make a difference, but realistically, no one gives a fuck and no other state is going to go out of their way to help them out. And worst of all, now your ass cannot leave Michigan for more than 90 days, despite the clowns <laughs> who can- Really? Non-EU nationals, which now include Britons, risk fines and barred re-entry to the EU if they overstay the 90-day limit. <gasps> 90 days is a long time, though. Three months is good. Not leave Michigan for more than 90 days, despite the clowns- Boris Johnson's family have French passports. Nigel Farage's family have German passports. Nigel Lawson, French residency, lives in France. Oh, David Cameron, Nigel Farrell, and Rishi Sunak all pay tax via companies or loopholes in foreign countries. So all these guys who wanted Brexit to happen were not really going to have to deal with all the repercussions of it. Looks like. Now your ass cannot leave Michigan for more than 90 days. Despite the clowns who came up with this whole thing, all having free passes to move in and out as they please. Nigel wow. Farage's kids have German passports. The guy loves the EU so much he made sure his kids get free movement within the union. Something he caused most UK citizens to never have. If you are purebred British, which I thankfully am not, this guy literally took away an integral part of your freedom. A freedom that his kids conveniently get. If that doesn't prove to you it was all just clout seeking bullshit, I don't know what will. There are obviously mm. some things I don't like about the EU, but they definitely made more sense as financial partners than the US. Yeah, for anyone who doesn't know, quite a lot of the pro-Brexit rhetoric was based around us ditching our European ties for our better American birdies. Only problem is the EU's there uh, and America right. is there. Not th wow, I didn't know that. That's the first turn. <laughs> That's the first time I've heard that trade with America was a justification for Brexit. We do have a lot of trade, but at the same time, we're far away, like you say. Hmm. Buddies. <laughs> Only problem is the EU's there uh, and America is there. Not that this is really anything new. I guess pretty much since the First World War, our two countries' relationships Dunkirk. have been a bit like... Burn. Dang. If any of y'all Britons want to come to America and wear a leash and let me lead you around, I'd be up for that. <laughs> Thing. But honestly, what Whoa. can you expect from a country of politicians who conduct their most important decision making the same way toddlers argue in kindergarten? <laughs> Say it. No. Oh, no, you Shut up a minute. They're almost as clever as American politicians. Does TikTok access <laughs> the home Wi-Fi network? Have you ever been a member of the Chinese Communist Party? Senator, I'm Singaporean. No. Hey, at least <laughs> over in the States, yeah, the politicians might be brain dead. Literally. America is a nation that can be defined in a single word. I was in the foot him uh, foot, foot <laughs> but you can't deny they got some serious swag though. I need some of them Trump ricks, bro. Dude, you get a pair of these jitties. Match that with the OG Biden Newport <laughs> tracksuit. You've Newport mastered track. political unity, bro. Anyway, in conclusion, these two countries have a lot of differences, a lot of things we don't agree on, a lot of things we dislike about each other, but I also think we share some common ground. And you yeah, know, at the lot. end of the day, regardless of what we think about each other, at least neither of us are French. <laughs> oh, this was a really funny video. Y'all, we're the same. Yeah. Gross. Y'all, I haven't laughed this hard. That bagpipe music. <laughs> I haven't laughed that hard in a long time. Wow. Yeah, at least we're not French. I would say compared to the rest of the world, the United States and Britain are actually pretty similar. That's why it's interesting to check out all these little differences because some of them are really minor, some of them are well known, some of them are really widespread, but you just don't talk about it. And I'm always surprised at how more and more I find out these little quirky differences. But really, we're the same. We're, we're, we're so connected. For those of you who have bought me a coffee, you've literally bought me a coffee on Buy Me a Coffee. So this is, this is coffee from you. Thank you so cool anyway thank y'all for watching this with me i really enjoyed it i hope you did too and i'll see you next time later